Well guys, we have a problem. With China producing more than 80% of the total global volume of watches, with Apple selling 8 million Apple watches in quarter four of 2017 alone, and the declining sales and loss in watchmaking market share in countries like Switzerland and Germany, there's a lot of news that threatens the passion that I love watches. As a watch lover, I want to see the industry thrive. I have to admit, I have become increasingly concerned with one issue that is absolutely plaguing the industry. And in fact, it was none of the things that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. The very thing that is threatening the watch industry and this community of watch lovers that we have here on YouTube is not anything that I mentioned at the beginning. It is a collection of people that are a large portion of the foundation of enthusiasts that we know watch snobs. One of the first videos that I created on this channel was addressing watch snobs. But after obtaining several thousands of subscribers and seeing countless comments on my video saying for me to stop promoting affordable watches because they all suck, I wanted to revisit this issue. So why do I think this is the problem? In all hobbies or passions, we usually are very accommodating to newcomers and have a desire to even encourage them to continue to explore and really foster that fire that's now burning within them, you know, learning something new. This, however, is not replicated in the watch space. Many individuals put down those who spend their money on anything other than luxury pieces and unrightfully demand them to spend thousands of dollars to really call themselves an enthusiast and will even ridicule these people for not following this wrongfully expected protocol. And of course, this is frustrating for a lot of reasons, but it frustrates me specifically because of how I got into watches. I got into watches in a different way than many enthusiasts. I started by buying these cheap Chinese made watches and owning a first generation Apple watch. The very things that people think are threatening the future of wristwatches. However, these items led to me becoming curious of watches and becoming fascinated with wearing time-telling devices on my wrist, and it intrigued me enough to continue to explore it. From there, I began learning more, studying watches, and understanding the story that resides within these pieces of art that we are lucky enough to wear on our wrists. And after a couple years, I've really become obsessed with these things, spent thousands of dollars on them, I've started a YouTube channel talking about them, and have even discovered a family heirloom that I didn't even know existed. It was a watch owned by my great grandfather and someone that I was named after. When watch snobs say that you need a certain luxury piece to be considered an enthusiast, that only hurts the hobby that we all love. For those with a business background, it's like the equivalent of them going up and calling somebody that they've never talked to and trying to get them to buy a $10,000 product or service or sending over an email trying to get them to sign a contract right at the end of that email. Or in other words, going up to a girl and asking for her hand in marriage before you even have her name or her phone number. To expect anybody to spend thousands of dollars on a watch is ridiculous, especially for somebody that is just starting out. If we hold people to this standard, it's really dangerous for this hobby and only threatens them to run in the opposite direction as fast as they can, while also promoting a level of pretentiousness that I don't want to be associated with. I say all of this for a few reasons. First, when I hear about the numbers increasing amongst those that are buying Apple watches or cheap Chinese watches, I don't even see this as an issue. I see it as an opportunity, knowing it was the path that I followed to become the watch lover that I am today. Will I ever go back to buying these cheap Chinese made watches, these fashion watches, or even an Apple watch? No, but I think it's an important step to know that everybody's journey is different and what we should be doing is educating, showing where real value resides rather than putting people down. So what can we do to counteract this? My message to all of you that enjoy watches like I do is to just be accommodating to those that show interest and disregard the snobs. Share with those newcomers your experiences, your knowledge, and that value goes way beyond a price tag. And for you newcomers, know that there is no right or wrong way to do this. I just urge you to just remain curious. If you let that curiosity take hold, you might find watches might not be for you, but at the very least, you might learn something in the process. And if you are lucky, you might develop a passion along the way. So guys, in conclusion, let's just be accommodating to those that are trying to learn more about this hobby. Let's disregard these stupid watch snobs because if we can educate, be accommodating to people that are starting to show interest in watches, and they become lovers of this hobby and passion that I know we all love, then we all win. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you agree with this message, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, also hit that bell icon so you know when I release content. So guys, before we go, 
what I always want to do with my content is remain authentic, never have to bring on sponsored content to make money. I want to remain as genuine as possible when I'm making my videos here because I really enjoy it and I enjoy engaging with you guys and I want to do that in a very candid way. So I need to make money in other ways essentially. So one thing I'm doing right now is developing a watch uh, strap line to get started. If you guys can just take a moment, fill out a form down below. This is actually the second form. So if you've already filled out the first form, uh, you can go ahead and fill out this form because this is a whole different batch of uh, watch straps and um, concepts that I'm trying out here. It'll take like a couple minutes, but I'd really appreciate it if you can fill it out. I'm all about engaging with you guys. I really actually value your insight. You guys gave me some great feedback and it's so helpful for me in prioritizing what straps to uh, feature, what straps not to feature and continue to design out. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you can fill out that form, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, be well, and I will see you all very soon.